Yeah, those pianos need a little off behind it. Yeah, see what I mean? Probably won't use the snare, but fuck it. On some Memphis shit.
regular FL um, equalizer, has a snare drum enhancer. Makes it a little clear, stand out a little more. Alexa, home screen. Alexa, home screen. Yeah. Now, I still got that gritty to it, but you know, this is without the EQ. See, y'all hear that difference? Pretty sure you can. Now, this is with the you know, I encourage anybody who has a snare that's not really slapping or you know, it's a little muffled, it's a little too gritty. Add this again. I'm gonna show y'all where it's at. Boom, right there. EQ1, not EQ2. Come with Fruity Loops. Go over here, left click, snare drum in hands. Here we go, yeah, here we go, yeah. And also, I do it with my snare too, just to make it a little bright. Like, see? Hear that? Yeah. Now this is without it. It's kind of boring. With it. Ooh, without it. Low. Calm. With it. Slapping. Let's go. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. Save your beats, bro. I never, <laughs> I never save my beats, man. Uh, yesterday was kind of a bad day. Been up for 24 hours, got some sleep. So today's a better day. So that's what we gonna name this. Um, it is, it is the ninth. Yo, I've been putting my dates on my beats, which don't really mean shit, but at the end of the day, like, I've had, especially doing the collabs with people, like, oh, you made this beat in 2016, or you made this beat, nigga, you better be lucky you getting a beat from an era where I was at my hottest, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could send you some shit like this. But all you're going to do is say, hey, I want that old school 2010 like Luger. So, you know, when I do my collabs, I do those. And those would be the beats that, like, you know, Wiz and Ross and them didn't pick, you know, but still up to that standard. You know, maybe they didn't want to pay. Maybe the song got scratched. Like, I have so many songs in my notes from Doughboy. Y'all send us the Doughboy. I got a whole album with Doughboy in my phone. But, I, you know, that's neither here nor there. I, I know why. You know, I know why, bro. You know, but that shit don't phase me. Man, I got shit with uh, uh, fucking Dream, The Dream. I got shit with, um, I got shit with somebody I can't even name. It's in a contract. This man put it in a contract that I can't speak on the music that we have. That's how much of a goat he is. I'm going to let y'all. I'm going to let y'all guess that. It's in an in, in agreement that we signed that I cannot speak upon this album, which I might be doing breach of contract right now just saying it, but y'all have no idea who I'm talking about. And y'all probably would never know, man, but he's a fucking legend, a goat by far. You know what I mean? So, um... 
All right, yeah, so. Yo, is my shit frozen? Oh, no, it's not frozen. Future? I said a goat, bro. Man, I can't believe this. Man, you are a lonely thugger. Future, bro? No, bro. <laughs> Nigga, I said a legend, a goat, bro. It's in a contract that I can't. Future, bro? Little baby? Man, y'all gotta be young, bro. Y'all young, bro. Y'all young. Yo, boy, yeah, the dream, um, designer, uh, Chief Keef. I got a bunch of shit that's just sitting in my, um, notes that haven't came out yet. Gucci? Gucci, man? Yeah, y'all seen that Lil, Lil Wayne interview when the nigga be like, Gucci, man? Gucci, man, before Eminem? Shouts out to my nigga Gucci. <laughs> that nigga was like, hell no. Nah. Greatest lyricist of like, I think it was like 2010 or some shit. That nigga was like, Gucci who? <laughs> y'all remember that shit? Hey, if y'all don't remember that shit, go watch it on YouTube right now. He was with uh, Tim Westwood. Gucci who? <laughs> Oh, man. Ah, oh, shit. How long we been up here? An hour? All right, I said I was only going to do an hour, man. Um, But I, I'm, I, I'm at uh, 199 viewers, so I'm going to keep it going. I'm, I'm going to finish this beat up. I'm going to save it first because I got to add a kick and all type of shit. I don't know if y'all can see this, man. You know, my manager uh, taught me this. Professionalism. You want to be professional, bro. Like, back in the day, I would name my beat some shit like uh, one time two, and that would be it. But, you know, my new manager, shout out to PJ, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm so glad I got a new manager, bro. My whole life has changed, bro. Like, y'all remember seeing me, bro. Like, I had a little sack at first from my publishing. I was living in Atlanta, but shit got bad, bro. Like... Man, management sucks, bro. Like, managers really suck ass, bro. Except my boy PJ. But, man, my last manager was taking my publishing royalties, bro. I mean, my producer royalties, bro. Had me in a fucked up deal. Like, trying to get me to do love and hip hop, you know, to make up for the money that they were stealing from me. Oh, uh, man. But Karma's a bitch. Karma's a bitch. You know, and I hung in there, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Motherfuckers thought I was crazy going on the internet, calling out people, but I was on my Kanye shit before Kanye, before it was a Kanye shit. I was doing that shit first, bro. I was calling these niggas out, bro. You know what I mean? If you know, if you're a real day one Lex Luger fan, you know I was calling these niggas out. I still do to this day. All niggas want to do is pop shit at gangsta and shit, but I'm the, I'm the nigga, I'm the nigga that, that call niggas out. Kanye call, calling out these corporations and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because he's in there with them. I was calling out the people, you know, who I knew who was taking my bread and doing this, that, and the third. And it's a couple of other people who still, you know, doing shit behind closed doors. But I got my garage in there full of paperwork and my royalties coming to me now. I know what's coming in. I know what's coming out. I know about producer portals. You guys get your artist portal so you can see what's coming in. Don't let your manager take control of all of your shit. Get your own LLC so that when you make a beat, that that beat isn't registered in the system to Lex Luger or uh, A True Sound. It's registered to A True Sound LLC. I'm just using you as an example, bro. Put it in your LLC, bro. You know, I've had IRS trouble and shit like that. They can't fuck with that. That's your business. You know what I'm saying? So, like, if anybody was to... I've been sued before, too by a police officer for $1.8 million, man. Never forget it. But, um, you know, uh, I didn't have my LLC in order. So if that was the case, if it would have happened nowadays, 
you know, they couldn't sue me alone. You dig what I'm saying? They would have to sue the entity, which is, you know, the business, the LLC. So, man, all of y'all, y'all go get your LLCs, man. Pay attention to your manager. Make sure you read your paperwork. Get a lawyer. Don't let your manager get the lawyer for you. Have a, another lawyer that he don't even know about or she don't even know about. You know what I mean? Um, I'm just trying to give y'all as many gems as I can, man. Uh, you know, uh, but back to what I was saying. So, yeah, like I said, I used to name my beats like, I don't know, one, two, three, four, or some shit like that, you know. But um, now, you know, like, each beat is my energy, my soul, time out of my day that I put into it. So I, th I put some thought into the name, you know, Better Day uh, Ever, uh, September 9th, when I made it. The BPM is 170, and it's made by Lex Luger. If you don't put your name in your beat name, bro, a nigga can steal that shit easily. Or, you know, people go through hundreds of beats. A&Rs go through thousands of beats. And if it's a beat that they like, boom. All right, this beat is named 87, 1987, one. You know, who made it? We don't know. The name's not in there. You see my name right there. Ain't no way around it. You try to steal this, it's going to be trouble. You know what I'm saying? I'm tagging my shit. My tag is in the beat and in the title. You know what I'm saying? And always put your BPM in there, too, and make it easier on the engineer. Or they want to redo some shit or whatever the case may be. So, you know, professionalism, man. Y'all take note. Always put... You don't have to put the date. I put the date so that the artist can see, like, damn, this, mo this motherfucker made this shit today or yesterday or the day before that. Or damn, he been sending new beats every day throughout the week because he'll see, you know, the, 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 the date up there. So, you know, I feel like I'm just rambling. But, like, man, like, this shit is important, bro. Your business is very, very important to your life, especially if you got fucking kids, dude. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what really made me make my change. Hey, thanks for all of that, man. I appreciate that. You did. What if you don't have a beat tag? Make one. Grab a microphone like I got right now and fucking record it. Record it into FL Studio or whatever your name is. Uh, it's a website that you can type that in. And whether it's from a movie or a video game, it'll show up and it'll play. And then you just, you just record that or copy that MP3 and that'll be your tag. You know what I mean? Yeah, bro. I'm, I'm glad, like, I can help y'all out, bro. Because nobody helped me out, bro. Nobody, bro. I had a few niggas help me out. And the niggas that did help me out, they, they, they led me, um, they like, let me give y'all an analogy. They like, oh, Lex, we thirsty, man. Um, we gonna get some water. So we traveling. You know how you say you can lead a, a horse to the water, but, but you can't make them drink it? What happened with me and my mentors and the, the fuck niggas I was fucking with, they was leading me to a dry well. It was no water there. You dig what I'm saying? So, like, I had to figure out how to how to dig, you know, where water's supposed to be until that water sprouted out. You know what I'm saying? This shit might be going over top of y'all head, but, like, I'm serious, man. The niggas I was fucking with, like, still to this day, they try to give me gems and shit like that, but, like, it's not the real gem, you know what I'm saying? It's the it's the cluster diamond, you know what I'm saying? They giving me jewels and shit like that, but like it's the it's the it's the cubic zirconium. It's not it's not the real official tissue. You dig what I'm saying? So man, you know, do your do your do your homework, research your shit, look up your paperwork, go through it. I know it's stressful. I know it may be a lot, but it's gonna be worth it, man. Trust me, man. Look at all this shit, man. Like I never in my life thought. Like, I had all of these plaques are in a state of my life where I was supposed to have been had them, you know, but I didn't even have the knowledge. Nobody told me that I had to order them myself or pay for them myself or, you know, these plaques are $300 a piece, man, $200 a piece. Some of them go up to, like, you know, if you order a couple, like, I get them for my fam, man, to, you know, show my legacy. 
So when I ordered my plaques, I ordered three and four of them. So three or four plaques, it was 300 a piece, three or four plaques of, of like five different pla plaques. I'm paying like eight grand for a trophy that I worked hard for. I helped sell these records and I still had to pay for them. Nobody ever gave me no plaque, bro, except that Taylor Gang one right there. And I love Will to death, man. Will over there at Taylor Gang, man. I love him to death, man. So the only human being who has ever gifted me a plaque, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, do your homework, get your right, get your shit right, man. All right, I'm done talking, man. That's enough. Uh, hold on, hold on. Let me think. Let me think. Selling samples and beats. Yep. You can make a living out of everything, man. Yeah, I be on Discord. Not that much, though, but I, I, I try to be up there a little longer. Yeah, I'm from VA, Suffolk, to be exact. Do you make niggas get on this okay? And then, yeah, 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 yeah. What are the best platforms to sell? I don't know about that one, bro. You just got to try to work hard to get placements. I don't really be trying to, like, sell beats like that. You know what I'm saying? Like. You know, hit up the people that splice, man. Tell them, you know, you make sounds and you make melodies and, you know. Yeah, make your own website. That's a good one, too, you know. But you, you got to generate um, traffic to your website. You could just have a website and no traffic coming in, you know. What, what point does that serve? You got to pay to play, man. You got to, you, gotta, you know, you got to spend money to make money, you know what I mean? Yeah, you gotta promote it. So, all right, that's it. I'm getting back to this beat, man. I'm getting back to this deep. I'm, we're getting too deep into this shit, man. When I finish this, then we'll go. We'll go a little bit, a little bit more in depth. But I gotta take a piss. I gotta take a break right quick. Y'all vibe out to this beat. Start telling me I need a nap and go to sleep and I ain't, I ain't about to fall asleep, man. Fuck y'all, man. <laughs>
Mike was on game. And find a kick right quick. Right quick, how many of y'all watch C? That's that show C with um Jason Momoa, I think his name is, with the blonde folks. That's my shit. I'm about to watch that shit while I'm making beats, bro. I like to watch movies and you know get inspiration, man.
Okay.